traditionally, when people would have aneurysms that uh, bridge across their aorta, the ascending aorta, the aortic arch, and part of the descending aorta, these were very hard to fix. Um, the reason that is is because they're hard to reach from the front through a, a sternotomy incision that we normally do, and they're hard to reach from the back through an incision to the side because the aneurysm bridges all the way across. And so to do these types of operations in the past, we'd either have to make two incisions, one to the front and the side, or in fact, do what we call a clamshell incision where we open them up all the way across their chest. And it was really hard for them to recover from this because uh, it was such a morbid incision that oftentimes it would take patients up to a year before they were really functioning like themselves. because the uh, area we can treat is much larger and we can modify the distance down the aorta uh, that we treat. Um, the other area is that uh, it, it helps us uh, to prevent having to make much larger incisions and open the, the chest cavity itself where the lungs are housed, uh, which really reduces the morbidity for the patient. The techniques that we use where we maintain perfusion to the brain during uh, a portion of the procedure where the heart is stopped and some of the other techniques we use really help to reduce the rate of stroke, which is really the, the main one of the main complications of other ways to treat arch pathology. And our risks of stroke have been very low with this technique. Having this device uh, can be a complete lifesaver. Uh, previously, uh, when patients would present with uh, very complicated ruptured aneurysms, um, there may or may not be any surgical options for them because the risks were just too high from doing those really big incisions. Now, having uh, devices like this, it really uh, expands the number of patients that we can treat and it really improves the safety of the operations that we can do for them um, significantly. LHC has a long history of innovation um, in surgery and, and we, uh, this is no exception. So we have a, a, a very uh, robust, comprehensive, uh, multidisciplinary aortic team um, of cardiac surgeons, vascular surgery, anesthesia, nursing, perfusion, uh, where we're able to um, adopt and to help to develop new operations and procedures. And this is a procedure that was first developed in Europe, um, where we had uh, gotten some training and uh, we were able to bring this uh, here to London uh, because we have a supportive environment, supportive uh, hospital administration, uh, supportive uh, uh, caregivers and team, and, and of course our patients who are willing to, uh, to be uh, early adopters of this new technology. Um, and it's really through that innovation that we're able to provide this advanced care for our patients to be one of the leading centers. I think this, this technique and our experience and results highlights the importance of having a collaborative approach to treating these challenging patients. This is the best part of the job. Um, you know, the, the fact that our patients benefit so much from this and to see them recover so quickly is, 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 uh, is, is very rewarding. Um, you know, uh, we, are, we have a fabulous uh, team uh, here. Um, and really it's, uh, it's, a, it's a success of the group uh, that we're able to do this for our patients. And, and when we see them come back uh, with, uh, with uh, their lives totally changed and being so much better, it's, it's, uh, it's a fabulous, wonderful feeling.